What is up guys? Welcome back to episode number 102 of our Mission Chief series. Now, I did just notice something uh, filming 102, which is about uh, two re about two weeks later of uh, 101, that my last episode didn't have sound for 19 minutes, so um, my fault. But anyways, I'll just give you guys a quick recap on what happened. Um, it'll pretty much take like two minutes for me to explain. But anyways, so we built five um, U.S. Coast Guard stations with this new update that was released. So we have the U.S. Coast Guard Station Duluth, which is probably one of my favorite spots. We have uh, U.S. Coast Guard Station Bayfield, U.S. Coast Guard Station, um, also have this CMS station I lied, and uh, U.S. Coast Guard Station North Superior, and we got two more, uh, Station Portage and Marquette. Now with the, um, I think it was today, or even yesterday's uh, update, they did add ships um, that you can actually get with these Coast Guard stations. Um, so I don't know how many personnel they take, and I don't know um, what they can, what the capabilities of these ships are. Oh, sorry, I should probably mute my uh, Netflix. My bad, I forgot to do that while I before I started recording. But anyways, um, we're gonna be buying these bad boys today, and we're also gonna be building two new uh, U.S. Coast Guard stations. Um, so we can actually take a look at new buildings. Um, as you guys can see, there's these there's two new spots. We have rescue boats uh, dock, and we have a fireboat dock. Uh, fireboat docks are um. Quite rare, actually, in the United States. Um, they're more for like larger cities. I know uh, uh, New York has them, of course, with their um, international airports, literally on an island and um, all that stuff. So especially with their shipping routes and uh, stuff like that. But uh, they they have a lot of um, uh, ferry traffic and stuff like that. Especially with the um, what was that? The Hudson. Um, what was it, United? No, it was American. Something like 1549. Um, it was American 1549. We can find out. Uh, 1549. Yeah, U.S. Airways. Oh, U.S. Airways. That's what it was, not American. Um, but anyways, so yeah, just planes, um, fucking hitting birds and crashing to the Hudson River. But anyways, so those were our stations. And now with uh, this recent update, we can actually build the ships. So we're going to actually build one ship here. I did the calculations, and uh, we should be able to build two stations and seven boats. Uh, each boat costs um, $30,000, which I guess is not a bad price, but it requires a, a special education, a.k.a. ocean navigation. So let's build this boat. Okay. Large rescue boat. Okay. I actually want to check real quick what if my um if the people from my graphics pack made a um a thing yet or a skin. I messaged this guy a couple days ago and I said, "Can you make the large rescue boat a Coast Guard cutter?" Question uh, mark. Rescue and book there, April fifth. Okay, that, that was a long time ago. But anyways, um, let's check if uh, New York has them. NY Rescue. Blah, 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 blah. Is it just me, or is every single skin pack the same? Like, the people from, like, Texas have the same New York Fire Department trucks. They all have pretty much the same skins. Like, the, the top five are literally all the same, which is kind of pathetic. I, I like Mesa because it's different than everything else. I believe this guy actually makes his own stuff. Um, but there's actually websites out there with, with fire vehicles out there that you I haven't even seen on Mission Chief, which is actually insane. Like, you could literally copy and paste the ones from the, these sites onto Mission Chief. Of course, the sites would never know because it's like a separate form they would never ever check. But I'll actually show you some of them. Um, but there's great sites out there. Um, so anyways, with this new cutter we just bought, um, large rescue boat, uh, and with this boat, we have smacks of six crew personnel. We did just hire um, a couple more people, but we one, two, three, four, five, uh, with ocean navigation. Um, so we should be good to go and actually launch a boat. I don't. I'm gonna see what happens when I launch a boat at this um, mailbox fire. <laughs> I want to see if they can put out fires. They shouldn't be able to put out fires. But I'm gonna watch this guy go over land, which is gonna be the stupid part. This is gonna be really bad to watch. It's gonna be cringeworthy. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I guess these things are kind of like helicopters, I suppose. Um, 
So they go directly to the um, the call, like cross map. I wonder if these, since this is considered like a helicopter, I wonder if they go at the same speed. I don't think they do go at the same speed, but we should have a race sometime. But anyways, with this mailbox fire, it, this is a rescue boat. It's not a fire boat, so it shouldn't be able to put out fires. I hope it's not going to put it out. Okay, it's not. Okay. That's good to know. So anyways, uh, let's just send this boat back to station. Back to the dock. And cancel you. So that's actually good to know. Uh, but moving on, uh, I want to show you guys a, a website. Um, it's called Ship Bucket. And on there is some good stuff. If you guys like ships, of course. Uh, ship bucket images. Here we go. So if you like ships, just type in ship bucket and you can get skins. This is kind of like Mission Chief where you have like little skins that just float around our open open map. Um, but anyways, we have really cool skins. I bet you I can find a U.S. Coast Guard one um, somewhere here. Look at that. We have helicopter right here. So that looks fucking awesome. We also have uh, airplanes. There's a lot of airplanes out there. And like, if we look in here, there's gonna be tons of airplanes. Look at that. Ain't this shit cool? Like a C-17, fucking 737 or 747. Sorry. Uh, and I don't know what the hell this ugly ass thing is, but Royal Navy auxiliary person. That is the ugliest ship I have ever fucking seen. The Republic of Southern Africa. That looks horrible. Uh, but I bet you we can find a Coast Guard ship in here somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. But there's plenty of military vehicles. There's tons of shit, which is fucking dope as hell. And there's weapons, all types of stuff. Yeah, that's about it. But anyways, um, what if... Now, I'm just going to rant real quick. What if that we had, like, an open-world map? Kind of like this, where you built bases. So pretend this hospital is actually just, like, a like a, like a a tank factory. And from this tank factory, you got to make, um, like, fucking tanks or whatever out of it. And then you have, like, jet factories or whatever. And then you could, like, fight each other. That'd be so fucking dope, dude. Oh, my God. And then like, there's research points and shit, stuff like that. Just imagine if Mission Chief did that. It'd be so fun. You can create skins, like your own military skins. That'd be fucking awesome. But anyways, we're getting totally off track. Um, I kind of spent too much time on the ship bucket. Um, but anyways, um, we're going to be building two new stations, uh, two new Coast Guard stations in um, Lake Michigan. I, I really want to assist the people over here uh, in the Midwest. So I'm going to be doing that. We do have one in Sheboygan, right here on the uh, uh, the bottleneck of uh, Sheboygan. I don't know how to spell Sheboygan, so we're just going to copy this real quick. This is going to be a rescue boat dock. U-S-C-G station S-H-E-B-O-Y-G-A-N Sheboygan. And build. There we go. Let's hire more people because we're definitely going to need more people. Station ship vehicle market, large rescue boat. And there we go. We also have one more. I, I don't remember where it is, but it's on the coast on this. Um, I'm going to say it's right here. Let's be my guess. Mason County. Yes, here we go. It was the most populated city I could find. Um, but anyways, a rescue boat station. Um, USCG. Station. Ludington. Ludington. And build. Large rescue boat. And there we go. Those are our two bases, pretty much side by side. So we'll be able to help Lake Michigan out tremendously. Uh, let's get a boat at Marquette. 
uh, one at um, Portage, and another one at Bayfield, and one more at North Superior. And that should literally be all of our credits. Yeah, 17,000. So we are on the spot. Johnny on the spot. Let's hire more people. And did we hire? I'm pretty sure we did. Yep, we did. Okay. Um, let's just do a little bit of research on our stations, our Coast Guard stations. So I'm going to make a, another copy of this page. And we're going to go um, investigate some of our ships. <clears throat> so let's find um, Station Duluth real quick. And uh, uh, Station Duluth, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to try to find some information on their um, their actual ships themselves. All right, here we go. Located on the St. Mary's River in Sioux, this ain't it. I lied. Um, <laughs> I'd like to Michigan surrounding law enforcement aid to navigation, marine safety, homeland security, blah, 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 blah. 70 reserve and 26 civilian personnel. The sector of vessels includes inventory of two 47-foot uh, ML. B's, uh, six 45-foot RBMSs, one 49-foot uh, bustle, two 20-foot AMSs, three 26-foot TAN Bs, and 11 25 RBSs. Well, um, I don't know what the fuck any of those are, but we will actually hop on Google Maps, and we will have a look. These are also home to cutters, um, especially when the Great Lakes actually freeze. Um, like Lake Superior, Lake Superior is actually, or Duluth, I should say, is a very, very large um, iron exporter. Um, we can actually find the iron mines up in, um, up here somewhere. I don't remember where, but there's some iron mines. I'm going to say, like, uh, up here somewhere. Right, right here? Here we go. All these iron mines, and there's train tracks that lead them all the way over to Duluth and they get unloaded from the trains all the way here so if you look right here this whole stretch right here is just a bunch of train lines heading to the dock um, so it's actually pretty cool to see city of Duluth railroad so check it out sometime there's plenty of rail yards right here look at all these look at all this rail yard that's it's just insane um, but anyways we will actually look in Google Maps We'll go find the station in Duluth just to get there faster. I will just type it in and <coughs> zoom in. Like I said, I wish I could have one of these cutters, but of course it's mission cheap, and I can just I can name any of my boats um, this ship. I don't know what this is. I don't even know what the what to call it, but we have plenty of ships here. You can already see four here, uh, one big one here. Um, so we're going to start naming them. Uh, so let's bring up this map. Uh, RB-MS. RB-MS. Images. Let's just type in boat. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to assume that this, these boats are these boats right here. That's my guess. Right? But we'll open up all the pictures. Um, MLB's, MLB boat. Images. Sorry, silicon boat. See, look at that. There's skin right there for ship bucket. Oh, that's an MLB stands for Motor Lifeboat. Interesting. Next, we have BUSL. 
boat. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm going to assume, yeah, this one lays um, buoys. Okay. I really want to know what this stands for now. I'm, I'm assuming it starts with a buoy something. Uh, a boat, utility, stern loading. Oh, okay. That's actually interesting. See, I love, a or not na aviation. I do love aviation, but I also love uh, maritime shit. Um, so, two AMSs. AMS boat. Um, oh, I guess these are airboats, maybe? Let's just type in USCG AMS boat. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. AM dash S. Oh, okay. Aren't these the same ones we looked at before? What the hell? Something's a little different here. This is an RBM. I typed in AMS and it brings up RBM. What the hell? Okay, well, fuck this one for now. Um, what else do we have? AMS tan bees. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. AMS and RBS. RBMs. <gasps> oh, okay. And a tan bees. I don't know what a tan bee is. Tan bee boat. And images. Okay, so those are little, little ugly little things. Okay, so let's just go in here in Mission Chief and uh, actually Google Maps and let's try to figure out. I think this is a tan B right here. This little ugly thing. These two are. These look different. Yeah, these do look a little different. So I'm going to guess these are two different ones. I'm going to guess these are, um, stand by. Uh, one of them is going to be um, an RBMS, and one of them is going to be an RB-S. I, I can guarantee you that. And this one right here. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. So, And this one's big as fuck. Jesus. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Oh my god. And look at that. Just just look at that. That's so cool. So we're going to have a max of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 ships here. And I guarantee you they have more. I'm sure some of them are just out doing whatever they need to do. Dude, I should honestly drive out here and just take a look. Like, this, this is open to the public right here. So I can just drive in and take a picture of this ginormous boat. That would be so cool. Just park right here and just watch some ships come in. I'm totally going to do that. I wonder if there's any pictures on here. Oh, U.S. Coast Guard Station. Oh, there's six photos. Let me have a look. Dude, this is dope. This is really cool. Look at that. That's so cool. I really want... Look at that beautiful boat. Just gripping through the ice. That's nice. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, we're going to name some boats here. Why don't we? Uh, I don't know what the actual uh, quote-unquote um, name for these boats are other than the actual manufacturer name. Um, but for sure we have the, um, the BUSL boat. Uh, So we're going to be naming it the call sign. That's cruel. Shift start time, shift end time. Whoa. They changed this. It used to be, I don't remember what it was called. They'd nev it never said call sign before, but. That's interesting. So I'm actually going to put on. 
Um, this is actually really interesting. I I hope you guys find it interesting too. Otherwise, um, I'm just really baffled by it. It's actually really fucking cool. Uh, <laughs> so we have one boat here. I, I really want to look at every other station. I, I just want to... This is actually really interesting to me. I, I hope it's interesting to you guys too, but this it's really fucking cool. Um, let's go to Bayfield here. Let's look at their station. I don't remember where their Coast Guard station is. Uh, where is it? Oh, you can see the the different map quality here. Let's go to a more populated city. Let's try the new one we just built over in Michigan. Where the hell did we even just build? Uh, I think it's this place, right? Maybe. U.S. Coast Guard. All right. Let me take a look at their boats over here. Looks like they got two boats. Nothing big, but pretty nice looking. And look at all this sand. Holy shit. The Fifth Avenue Beach. Damn, it looks dope as hell. But we, it looks like they have... Let's see if I can't get on the ground or if there's any... Any picture? Who? Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that boat. Mm, I don't know why these pictures are on the U.S. Coast Guard site, but it is what it is. U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Interesting. So, if we take a look at this boat, this is gonna be a a a a a a a. Definitely not a BUSL. Hmm, what is this picture? It might be a RBMS, maybe? RBMS? MLB? Definitely not MLB. But we have one more boat. We have a RBS. RB-S boat. And images. Hmm. So this one's a little bit weaker. RBMS. So let's look at this picture again. This is an RBS, I'm going to assume. I know this is really confusing, but I think I love... This is how I find out units and their unit names in Mission Chief. I know it's taxing to do, but I think it's really fun. Just by investigating through different sites. So this one is an RB-S. I'm going to go with that. Just the way it looks. The way it's so small and stuff like that. Look at that. They can load up a boat in the back of a fucking plane. That's pretty dope. So this is going to be RB-S. All caps. RB-S. Save. Alright, next station. We're going to do Sheboygan. We just gotta head right across the river and we'll be good to go. Or sorry, not river. Uh, lake. Um, I think it's over here, right? Um... I believe it was right here, right? And there should be a park right over here. Is this the place? I believe it is. No, I don't think it is actually. Hmm. 
I don't think there's the place. What even? Sheboygan. What the fuck? Yeah, that's not it. Uh, S H E B O A G A N, Wisconsin. Ah, there we go. That's the place I was looking for. U.S. Coast Guard. There we go. I knew something wasn't right. Alrighty, and we got a boat right here. Looks like we got one more on land. Whoa, is this the U.S. Coast Guard building? No, that's got to be an apartment building. This is the U.S. Coast Guard base. That looks more like a base. So this looks like a RBMS. That's me, my guess. Uh, I just need to... Let's see if there's any pictures, I should say. I don't know why this guy's still on me. Why is this... Hold on. I don't want to use this guy. I'm hitting escape. Okay, let's hit the U.S. Coast Guard. Come on, let's go. We have three photos here. Mm -mm -mm. Auxiliary flotilla. <laughs> That's that just sounds delicious. So it looks like they have an RBS and an RBMS. Looks like that to me. Let's see if I can hop on any roads. Is there any pictures? Any picture spots? Oh crap, low battery. Shit, shit, shit. Oh yeah, no roads. Huh, I wish it, it actually showed what, um... God, why is this guy still dragging? I don't want you. Oh my fucking god, I hate this guy sometimes. Little orange bitch. But this is actually interesting stuff, not going to lie. I'm, hopefully I can find more information and pictures out there. I bet you if I Google the actual name of um, these different bases, I bet you there'll be more information out there. But unfortunately, my computer battery is about to die, and um, I still got to upload this to YouTube. Um, so <laughs> I got to get back. Get a good charge in here pretty soon. So anyways, thank you for watching episode number 102. And again, I'm sorry for last episode. There wasn't... Um, what well, wasn't much talking on my hat because I was muted. Um, that's just my dumb ass. But I actually want to try and see if this, if, if these rescue boats are technically EMS and the fire boats are technically like fire engines. I wonder if a cardiac arrest can get treated by a boat. And what if the boat actually drives to the hospital? Like <laughs> you just see a ginormous like cutter. I'm gonna respond this uh, rescue boat out. <laughs> And um, see if this actually can treat it. And I'll let you guys know, because I will be doing a tutorial on rescue boats coming up here pretty soon, um, within the next two weeks. And I will be showing you guys if they actually do treat cardiac infarctions on land. So we will find out. And I'm going to leave you guys with a... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It happens in movies. Or um, a cliffhanger. There we go. See ya.